How's lockdown treating you, pussycat? Yeah, I know. It's rather boring, isn't it? It's so boring. In fact, I just want to pull my hair out. But I'm not going to because that would make me bald. Are you going to jump? Are you going to jump? What are you going to do? Are you going to jump? I think she's, I think she's going to jump. So yeah, we're talking about lockdown today. She's not going to jump. Jumping is bad. All right, bad pussy cat. We're all in lockdown. Look, I'm in from I'm from Sydney, Australia. Okay, we've been in lockdown now for about a month, and recently our premier Gladys Berejinkly and Big Nose—that's her name, that's her actual name. No lie, I could be mistaken there. But anyway, <laughs> she's basically said we've got one more month of lockdown to go, and we're only allowed to leave our house in a five-kilometer radius. Only for essential things like exercise and for food and pretty much fuck all else. Okay, so we're all going absolutely crazy in this lockdown situation. And today I want to talk about you know, what are some awesome things that we what are some awesome things that we could be doing. She's gone crazy, uh, but we're actually not because. We don't know what to do. Well, listen, there's this website, right? That was a really long-winded way to get to this website. Hello. Hello, website. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Uh, yes, bought at home. 36 fun and productive things to keep you entertained. So let's just do this right now together. Uh, by the way, I've got my lockdown beard still growing. I made a video about it. I will be cutting this beard off eventually when lockdown finishes in Sydney. I don't know how crazy my beard's gonna get. My cat's gone absolutely crazy, by the way. Look at her. She's absolutely bonkers right now. But yes, I will be locking, I will be uh, removing this at some point uh, <laughs> when lockdown finishes. So stick around for that. But yes, let's check out this website right now and have some fun, guys. Uh, okay, so number one, right? Set goals. You and me and everyone in this lockdown, we've, we've all got something to do, right? Uh, when lockdown's finished, we will, we will, you know, life will continue. My God, my cat's absolutely crazy. Uh, <laughs> life will continue normally at some point in time, right? Where the lockdown is finished, but the virus is still around most likely. But, uh, you know, set goals, okay? That thing that you really wanted to do, but you didn't have the time to do it before. Now's the time. There's no better time. You've got so much time on your hands. You're bored out of your effing mind. Do that thing, set that goal, learn that thing. All right, that's number one. Number two is going to be learn a language because we can't travel at the moment. Unless, you have, unless of course you've got an exemption or, you know, whatever, you're a president or a prime minister or something. You can't really travel, okay? But we will be able to, at some point, go to that favorite place that you've always wanted to go to, right? That's your goal. You wanna go travel somewhere? Learn a language. You've got so much time to do it right now. Okay, that's number two. Uh, take a course. Set your goal. Learn that language. Take a course. Take a course to, to learn that new language. Take a course to learn that new skill. Because when, when lockdown and, and, and the COVID's completely gone, who knows when, but when it's completely gone and all that, and when everything's back to normal, uh, you know, 25 years from now, <laughs> hopefully it's just 20, all right? 25 is too long. Anyway. Jokes aside, get you know, learn that skill. Take a course to learn whatever the hell you want to learn, right? Become an expert. Listen to a podcast. Really, really cool way to get your mind active, right? Listen to a favorite podcast from your favorite podcaster or, or, a, or a really cool topic from a podcaster, any podcaster. That's kind of a little bit skewy if you want to move that back there for a second. How does that look? Hang on, hang on. There we go, I like that. So you listen to a podcast, right? Have fun. Learn to play an instrument. I actually want to start learning. I want to actually want to start learning to ha to on how to uh, make make music out of my door, out of my. Uh, there's, a, there's a big door over there. No, <laughs> I want to. I have a dig. What does door stand for? Digital audio program. D. I don't know. D digital audio device. I don't know what a door stands for, but basically it's a music program on my computer that I want to start making music. I've got a keyboard. All right. I want to start making music. That's what I want to try and do at some point very soon. Very, very soon. I've just got a brand new laptop. I reviewed it recently and my birds have just knocked over their seed. You can't see them. They're on the bottom part of the cage. But anyway, 
going back to what we're up to now. You know, get reading, right? Learn that skill. Or read some fiction, non-fiction, whatever. Read a book. Read Harry Potter if that interests you. I don't know what interests you. You know, how to get away with murder. I don't know. Maybe you're into that. Maybe you're planning to do something at some point in time. And hey, it would be nice to know that skill. <laughs> if so, go get reading, okay? Uh, what are we on now? Five or six? I don't even know what we're on now. Seven, apparently. Give your home a spring clean. Because hey, you're stuck at home. You've got nothing to do. Do something. Take your mind off of the boredom, the stress, and the everything. And clean your house like it's never been cleaned before. Because you've got all the time in the world to do it. Alright? Awesome. I absolutely, absolutely hate cleaning. But hey, each to their own. Okay? Take up photography. Now, I'm a big photographer. More of a videographer. But as of late, I used to like doing interesting photography shots back years ago on my girlfriend's old, old property in Picton, Australia. Talmor, Thelmere, Australia. Anyway, you guys from that area, let me know. But yes, I'm more into video, video, videography now. So yes, if you've got a lust for that kind of thing, then do it. Expand your skill. Take a course on, on how to actually get these things working. Set the right settings, the right ISO, shutter speed, all that, all that stuff. Okay? It's complicating. It, even for me, it's very complicating, but you can learn it. All right? Uh, number nine, organize your photos. Whether it's a physical photo on the wall, right? Whether it's something on the wall. I got my gear clock spinning today, by the way. These gear clocks spin, but I only got the batteries for this one. So it's actually telling the proper time, by the way. But you know, whether it's a physical photo on the wall or if it's actually, you know, photos on your on your on your phone or or, com or, or a laptop or a computer or something like that, you know, organize them. Get them in the right folders so you guys know what, where they are and type in you know, that kind of stuff, you know. Blah 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 blah. You kinda know what I'm talking about. Learn how to cook. Stop relying on Uber Eats and all them places. I don't know what the bloody called. Who cares? There's too many of those places now, okay? I had this on the table for my cat, Brittany, but she's not here anymore, so get out of here. I just hit that camera. Awkward. So yes, learn how to cook, all right? Stop stop potentially getting the virus from the, from the delivery driver that's coming to your, to your door, right? Uh, my shirt's a little too dark. That's a bit better. You know, Learn how to cook. Get that skill. That's a really, really cool life skill to learn, all right? Impress your partner when you either get one eventually or if you have one. Impress your partner at some point with this new skill. Baby, I'm going to make you so turned on for me tonight. I'm going to cook you spaghetti bolognese. Oh, but wait. But wait. And garlic bread. Oh, yes. You're going to turn her on so much with your new cooking skill. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Number 11, organize your wardrobe. If you're like me, my, my wardrobe's an absolute goddamn mess. I probably should be listening to this, but I'm not. I'm like that black guy on TikTok. <laughs> organize your wardrobe. Learn to arrange flowers. Because if you want to be a florist, then you got to start learning that skill. Will you be my valentine? That was slightly weird. Learn to make cocktails. Because let's face it, every single one of us in lockdown is most likely an alcoholic right now. All right? Me, I've already been through the alcoholic stage, st uh, stage and phase of my life. So I'm over that now. Thank fuck. Can I say that word? Yes, it's my channel. Fuck, fuck, fuck. If you love the booze, be nice to your family and friends, all right? Don't you don't don't you dare use alcohol as a reason to you know be aggressive and stuff like that. No, no, no. But if you're into the booze, I still like it, but not as much as I used to. If you're into the booze for the third or fourth time, then yes, learn to make a cocktail. All right. Create a mood board. I don't really know what this is, but it's is it like a vision board? I don't know. It looks kind of cool, right? Make a bucket list. We've all, like I said, if we've all got, you know, some of the things that we want to do before we die, right? Make a make a bucket list, and not only that, like not only write down the things that you want to do, but maybe write down next to them on the same page how you anticipate to actually get them done. Because if you, I mean, having a plan, right? Having a plan in place to get it to to, to do something is cool, but if you've got no uh, vision. One division, if you've got no vision on how to actually 
do that thing that you want to do, then you'll never get it done, potentially. You'll never get it done. So, yeah, if you want to go travel overseas, you better get a high paying job because that shit costs money. <laughs> uh, where are we on now? Freaking hell. Plant a herb garden. Herb garden. Plant you know, fl flowers. Herb gardens, right? Plant actual things to eat in a garden, right? You can use your newfound uh, mental state with how to cook dinner. You've learned that skill now, right? Now with your plant-based garden, you can you know pluck from your garden and be like, hey, baby, not only am I making you dinner tonight, but I'm getting it from my garden. Oh yeah, I'm so getting lucky in bed tonight. That's what you'll be like when you've got your girlfriend and you're cooking dinner. Uh, learn sign language, okay? So yeah. If you've got someone in your life who has trouble hearing, then I almost said blind vision, couldn't see, but if, thank goodness I, I fixed that. But I shouldn't have told you that because now you know I was about to say that. <laughs> Learn sign language, okay? Yeah, I don't quite know what I'm trying to say right now, but I mean, I mean, some of these things may mean something. I don't quite know what they mean, right? But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. God, why do you guys watch me? Anyway, I don't know. Learn a sign language. That's a possibility, right? For something to do. Repair your clothes. Are you into those type of things? You know, repair, repairing your clothes? You know, maybe, maybe you know, just get a sewing needle. And, you know. Hey, if you've got a hole in your pants because you've just done the biggest fart, right? And it's just like shit. Shit everywhere. God damn it. And now you've got a hole in your pants. Well, learn learn the skill okay practice nail art because if you're a beautiful girl or a not so beautiful girl it doesn't matter how beautiful you are you want nail art right god where am i going with this conversation uh become a wine connoisseur connoisseur how do we pronounce this one connoisseur 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 oh yeah because we're all alcoholics now at this point, at this point in our lives, okay? <laughs> You're like, hey, darling, would you like our 29th wine tonight? This one's a great tasting one. It's made from the Australian outback where the kangaroos go. And she's like, yeah, love, give me another one of them, mate. <laughs> Why do you guys watch me? Hey, if you do, you know what to do, right? You know what to do. If you are watching, you know what to do, okay? Your beauty. Update your CV and professional accounts because we are going to be getting back to work in a professional, in a professional way at some point in time. Update your CV, CV up, update your resume. Make yourself look as cool as you can be. Oh, Shia LaBeouf, do it, do it. It was a cross between Shia LaBeouf and Arnold Schwarzenegger then. But yes, make yourself look as good as possible. Lie as much as you want in your CV. They'll never know. They'll never know. Will they, birds? Hey, birds, rosy chicken. You, can, you guys can see rosy chicken. He's over there on the right. And Blondie. Blondie's the yellow one. Uh, okay, shit, we're almost finished, I think. Write a novel. Use your mind. Use your big brain and write that novel. Write that thing that you've always wanted to write, but you've never had the time. Well, guess what? Now you've got the time, all right? Now you've got the time. Start a blog. Awesome, right? Update your blog to potentially millions of people online. Tell them, tell those millions of people online what you're doing. But then the sad, hard, cold reality finally sets in that only five or six people are watching your vlog. And it's only when you realize that those numbers, five or six, is actually you constantly reading your own blog. And then, hey, depression sets in because no one's watching and reading. I'm sad. I'm sad. I don't have a blog, but I was referring to my videos. Uh, <laughs> get fit. I want to get physical, physical. Let's get physical. Let's get a physical. It was a song from Olivia Newton-John. It was about having sex, I'm pretty sure. But with the theme of getting fit, it's a good reference nonetheless. Get fit, okay? Do something. Do some gardening. Going back to get, getting fit, right? The gyms are closed. Get fit in your house. Do squats, push-ups, any kind of action to get your body <clears throat> moving. All right?
Do some gardening, as we've said before. Plant those plants. Get those garden trees working. Get those garden trees working. God. I don't know who I am anymore. Uh, upcycle your furniture. What does that even mean? Do some renos. Do some home renos in your house, okay? Make yourself, make your property, I should say, look good. Do the renovations in the house that you've always wanted to do, but have never had the time to do it. Do it. Do it now. Ah, learn to code. Coding is one of the most future-proof jobs there will be, most likely. Unless AI becomes so artificial intelligence. Unless AI becomes so, what's the word, so, so good at its job that it actually starts coding. Which it probably will. AI will definitely overtake humans with coding someday. But hey, until then, you can make a lot of money with coding. Alright? Awesome. It's a great skill. Learn calligraphy. How do we pronounce this one? Calligraphy. Calligraphy. I don't know. It's not really my thing. But if you're into that, learn it. Okay? Write a journal. Today. Day 159 on lockdown. Today I became really sad. But I got over it because I learned a new skill. I learned to cook. And now my girlfriend loves me even more because I cook now. There we go. <laughs> Write a journal. Uh, clear your kitchen cupboards. Make your house look pretty. Make, make your kitchen look pretty. So when you do make that dinner for your, for your girlfriend, loved one, wifey, whatever, boyfriendy, same sexy, whatever the hell it is, you dewy, uh, make your cupboards nice and clean. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, everybody. What are we on now? 31. Wash your makeup brushes because you ladies and gay men out there, we all know, we all know when you put that makeup on your face, we all know how dirty those brushes can be. Filthy, filthy. Clean them. Buy a loved one a gift. Unless of course you've got no money coming in and then hey, we're all just trying to survive and eat for the day. Okay, paint a picture. Okay, what's his name? Bob Ross, right? Bob Ross, learn that skill. Paint a picture. Who knows? You could become the next Leonardo DiCaprio da Vinci. And then you'll win an Oscar for a painting. Does anyone get my multiple references? I don't know anymore. But hey, painting could be fun. Jim Carrey's doing a lot of it lately. Jim Carrey, when, Jesus, when Trump was the president. If you were on Jim Carrey's Twitter account, all you'd ever see is like every second day, a new painting of Trump or someone in the government. Jim Carrey absolutely hated Trump. Whew. I'm not getting into that. Let's move on. Organize your desk. Organize your life. Organize yourself. Make yourself and your table look as pretty as possible. Cheers, mate. All right. We're almost finished. Learn to draw. Same as painting, right? There's Woody and Winnie the shit. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. I did a big dump. His name was Winnie the shit. You did a poo on me. What? What? I make these videos live, guys. Guys, there's no editing involved. Just put up with me. Please just put up with me. All right. There we go. Moving on. Uh, learn pottery. Because if you want to be Patrick Swayze in Ghost and Demi Moore... You can play that song, you know? How's that song go? Unchained Melody, right? I can't think how it goes right now. Unchained Melody, how they're doing the pottery in the movie Ghost. Has anyone seen that scene? Oh, such a great movie. Shame he died. Anyway, how does that song go? If I think how the song goes before the view ends, I will sing it to you. And since that was the last one, that will be a big fat no, a big fat chance to know. Guys, if you like this video, we are on two different social medias on, in, on you know, YouTube, two and one. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, my dogs have been sitting on here at, uh, you know, Tallboy Gareth. Besides the, the, besides the clock, right, getting, I've made the clock spin now. I've got these lights here. You see these lights all along here? Uh, yeah, looks kind of good. I'm doing some more renovations because why not? I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow because we're making daily videos. Love you. Bye.